Changing your buffer size in Pro Tools is very straightforward. We're going to head up to the Setup menu and click Playback Engine. In here, we can choose our Playback Engine, which is the audio interface that we're routing audio in and out of for Pro Tools. I've chosen my Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core, and my buffer size is 128 samples, which is low enough that I can monitor any tracking that I'm doing directly through Pro Tools any higher than that and we'll start to feel the latency that comes from a higher buffer size in Pro Tools. To see the session sample rate, we're going to go to Setup and Session. And unlike other DAWs, we can't change the sample rate after we've created the session. So in this case, I chose when I was building the session to record at 48 kilohertz. That's what it's set to for the remainder of this recording. And there you go, a couple of useful tips for Pro Tools. Give us a quick like and a follow for more SessionWire short videos in the future. I'll see you in the next one.